set time to be holy. Speak of with thy Lord. Abide in him always. And feed on his word. Make friends of God's children. Help those who are weak. Forgetting in nothing. His blessing to seek. Take time to be holy. The world rushes on. Spend much time in secret with Jesus alone. By looking to Jesus, like him thou shalt be. Thy friends in thy conduct, his likeness shall see. Take time to be holy. Let him be thy guide. And run not before him. Whatever be time, in joy or in sorrow, still follow thy Lord. And looking to Jesus, still trust in his word. Take time to be holy, be calm in thy soul. Each thought and each temper beneath his control. Thus, led by his spirit, the fountains of love, thou shalt. Don't be fitted for service aboard. Amen. Let's bow our head for prayer. Almighty Father, we bless you and fill it with you. Because man is in this state. Man doesn't know his maker, doesn't respect him, those who even know, know, doesn't consider him anything. It's painful. God will feel the pain with you. Truly, man is in a lost state. A God, some of my brethren are still in that condition. They are lost. It's painful. To you, it's painful to us that have understanding that have been recovered by you. I'm praying that God, you will make your children to understand this. To ensure they are never lost. And to work hard in getting the lost for Jesus. To bring people to the Lord. Thank you, Father, this morning. Be with us in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm talking to you on... The lost stages of man. The lost stages of man. Men are lost in the world. But uh, being lost is in stages. They're not standing in the same position, although they are all together lost. We are going to see the stages of lost men. In the book of Luke chapter 15, Verse 24. The father of the prodigal son declared that his son was dead, was lost. Luke 15, 24. For this my son was dead 
and is alive again. He was lost and is found and they began to be merry. They began to rejoice because the lost soul had been found. The moment you are found, there is joy in the heart of the Father. God. There is joy in the presence of the angels. There is joy among men who understand the state you had been in, the lost state of your life. The moment a sinner is found in Christ, what a joy. Because he is lost. God created man to serve him. To be with him. To live with him. But, man, left him and became lost. In Luke chapter 15 from verse 11 and he said a certain man had two sons and the younger of them said to his father, Father give me the portion of goods that fall it to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all and took his journey into a far country and there wasted his substance with riotous living. Far away from the father and got lost. Completely. The father never heard of him anymore. The father never knew where he was. The father never had hope of him anymore. Because he was lost. God says, let us make man in our image. Made man after his likeness. Man and woman made he them and blessed them and gave them the earth to possess and planted a garden for them in the garden of the garden that is the garden of Eden and said till it live in it worship me keep my commandments but Man is not there again. Wow. The play, I mean, the work of the devil. The work of the devil removed man from the presence of God and sent him far away to a lost state that no link between God and man. There's no link now between God and man. And when man fell into the temptation of the devil, he put on a different nature, a corrupt nature that called good evil and called evil good. All those things that God did not want are the things man wants. Want. The things the Lord called evil are the things man called good. That is man now. Sin. And he loved those things so much that he prefers the praises 
and activities of sin than that of God. Man would prefer to be in fornication and adultery than to serve God. It sweets him. It gives him sweetness. Sin sweets him. Sin makes him joyful. Man would steal. It gives him pleasure. It's a good pleasure to do evil. The things God calls evil. He would want to kill his fellow and be happy. In fact, he sits down and is rejoicing and is counting how many people he has killed. And he's happy about it. I killed this one. I killed that other one. I killed this other one. And it's giving him joy. It's testimony. He has maimed many. He has poisoned many. And he's so happy that I poisoned that one. You see that other one that is blind? I was the one that caused it. He's giving him pleasure. What a lost dead. Giving him pleasure. Do you know that woman that is pregnant, that girl there, I was the one that pregnanted her. And she has left her school. It gives him joy. I've pregnanted 10 women. I'm planning that I will get it up to 30. The man has gone off. Lost. Even the ones that want to come to God, that came to God, were brought to God, were not, are not serious. They're not committed. So, as a result, they don't know the God. They're not committed. The situation is terrible. Here are they, ah, I'm serving God, but not committed. As a result, the understanding is unfruitful. That I'm serving God. He doesn't understand. He's more committed to his work that gives him food than committed to God that gives him life. That's the situation of lost men. I say, Satan is responsible for the situation of man. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 3 and verse 4. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not. Lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ... Who is the image of God shall shine unto them. Satan has worked so much and is working so much among men to cause them to remain blind. And to, so they won't understand God and remain in a state of lostness. So, lost from the presence of God. Adam, where are you? I can't see you. Satan carried him away from your presence, O oh Lord. Satan carried him away. Satan carried her, carried her. Eve, run away. Satan carried her away. Mm. Satan has carried many away from God. Many have been carried away from their creator. Many. Look at them in the market. <clears throat> Do they think about God? Are they mindful about God? Look at them in the government. Some are, are governors, some are what you call various titles they give them. Are they imagining God any time? Is God in their way? 
gone gone into satanic kingdom where they begin to sacrifice human beings and drink the blood of men man is lost lost from the presence of god for this my son was lost lost cannot be found because of the works of satan the gospel is hid to them the gospel cannot be understood by them mm. They are like animals. Have you kept chicken before and it got lost? You couldn't find it anymore. Pains the heart of God. His creature has gone. Can't find him anymore. His creature is lost. He brought him home, but he got lost. It's not with God again. Have you raised up a dog before and it left the house and didn't come back for days and for months and you know that my dog is lost? God knows that you are lost if you're a sinner. For this my son was lost. Look at them in the, in the society. In their families. Lost. Why? I said Satan caused it. Satan carried them. Satan carried them. And removed them from the presence of God. Again. They loved sin. They loved sin. In John chapter 3. John chapter 3. Verse 16. Yes. To 21. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish. But have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world. To condemn the world. But that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is. He that believeth not is condemned already. Because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten son of God. And this is the condemnation. That light is come into the world. And men loved darkness rather than light. Because their deeds were evil. Because man loved darkness. Sin. He does not want God. He doesn't want God. He doesn't want to come to God. Because coming to God is giving up her sin. Ooh. We were in Sierra Leone last year. A particular witch, serious witch, was identified. And uh, she came and said, eh, deliver me. I want to be delivered. I want to be delivered. I want to be delivered. I sensed that she was not serious. I said, no, I won't give you that. No, 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 please. I said, you're not serious. I'm very serious. I'm very serious. Okay, let's go into prayer. As we went into prayer, and she was manifesting, we prayed endlessly. The Lord says, she is not ready to be delivered. The Lord appeared to her. I will deliver you. If you can give me your life. She said the problem is. You. You know when somebody wants to. If somebody wants to give his life to you. You expect him to give up everything. And the power I have. I don't want to give up the power. I'm telling you. 
see Jesus. See the creator. Men love darkness rather than light. Because their deeds are evil. Kai. So it will not work. It's not our prayer that delivers a person. It is the Lord that delivers. And our prayer brought the Lord to her. I will deliver you. Can you give me your life? No. Because this power I have, I don't want to relinquish them. And if I give you my life, you expect us to release everything. This is man. I'm saying man. Perishing is coming on his way. Men love darkness rather than light. Have you not loved immorality rather than Jesus? All this cheap money, riches, fame. I want to marry, if I marry this man, hey, I will make it. So forget Jesus. So you see how the state of man, how it is. Men loved darkness rather than light. Because their deeds were evil. Their deeds were evil. Another set of people, they came, but they're not committed. They came to Jesus. Oh, yes, I'm in church. I'm serving him. I'm in the choir. Never committed. These people worship me with their mouth, but their hearts are far away. Not committed. And since they're not committed, he does not reveal himself to them. If they don't know him, they are still in their sin. They are still in their sin because they are not committed to serving the Lord. In First John chapter 2, verse 4, First John chapter 2 verse 4. He that saith, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. And the truth is not in him. You are not committed. You are a liar. You are still in a lost state. You are still lost. You are not where God is. You left God and wandered away like a chicken brought to the house that left the house and went. Left the house and disappeared. You can't find it again. God cannot find you. There are many people, majority of the people in the world, God cannot find. They have gone. They have gone. And Jesus said in, in the book of uh, Luke chapter 19, verse 10. He said, Luke chapter 19, Verse 10. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. That is where Jesus Christ came. Is looking for man. You see somebody looking on the ground and checking here. And checking there. He said, ah. What are you looking for? My key. My key got lost. I'm looking for it. 
So I'm tracing all the places I have been to see whether the key fell that side, that place, in that place. That's what the Lord is doing now. What is going on now? He is looking around from place to place, face to face. Can I find this lady that is lost? His eyes are on you. Is it, will you make yourself to be found? Or after this place, you will stand up and go your way? Back to the market of lostness. Is it today? He is sighing. Will you be found today to come back to God? Or after this meeting, you go your way? It's painful. If you see how human beings have troubled God, human beings. Now, hey, I'm going to tell you stages of the lost. They are in steps. Some are down, some are up, some are up, some are up. According to the rungs of the ladder. The steps. Stages of the lost. Number one. There are people in their lost state. They say there is no God. They are in the world. But they say there is no God. They are in the world. But they don't see God anywhere in the world. In the book of Psalm, Psalm 14 from verse 1, the fool had said in his heart there is no God. That's all so foolish <laughs> in their state they are living in this world they are saying god does not exist god doesn't exist so leave me alone there are very many in the world many in nations of the world there is no god they are corrupt they have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand, that seek God. They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. That's why they say there is no God. They are not interested to do good, to live righteously. So don't bring God there and be disturbing my mind and say, God, God. Oh, they say, there is no God. The fool has said it. And he says, have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge? Who eat up my people as they eat bread? And call not upon the Lord. Iniquity has taken them over. They eat human flesh. How would they say there's God to the trouble their conscience? They have gone very far. How would they say there's God to trouble their mind? To bring fear into their hearts? No, there's no God. That's stage one. Stage one, a human being that says there's no God. Yes. Now, they were they in great fear, for God is in the generation of the righteous. Number two stage of lost men is those who say there is a great God somewhere but it's not known. 
Yes, there's God. Somewhere. But he has not made himself known. We don't know where he is. He's not revealed. So they are still free to live the life they want. There's God somewhere. But we don't know where he is. He is not known. And he has not made himself known. Stage 2 of lost men. Acts of Apostles. Chapter 17. Verse 23. Acts chapter 17 verse 23 For as I passed by and beheld your devotions I found an altar with this inscription to the unknown God whom therefore ye ignorantly worship him declare unto you God is somewhere a great God is somewhere our instinct tells us, but we don't know. He has not revealed himself. We don't know him. We don't know where he is. A state of lost men. Second stage. God is somewhere. Great God is somewhere. My mind is telling me, but I don't know where he is. Since he doesn't know where he is, he is still lost. It's not with God. I'm talking about the people that are moving down the streets. I'm saying they feel in them that there is a God somewhere, but they don't know where he is. Paul came at his whole city of men. They had a feeling that God was somewhere, but they didn't know him. Lost people, creatures of God, lost. Lost. I'm looking at these people sitting down. Have they discovered this God? Or they are still wandering in their lost state. I'm still looking at you. Have you discovered God? Or you are wandering in your lost state? Lost. You are not with him. You have not found him. You are not with him. Your mind is just telling you somebody, somebody, I remember, as if something, as if, but you have not understood it. It's like you, you dreamed, you woke up, I, it's as if I had a dream. As if I had a dream. What, what was that dream talking about? But you don't remember it. God, have mercy upon your creatures. Stage number three of lost men. They say there is God, but he sees and knows nothing. He does not see, he does not know. So he does not interfere with our eyes. He's there. But he doesn't see what we do. So we do live our life free. We live free. We do what we want to do free. No interference because there is no knowledge in the Almighty. Psalm 73. Verse 11. Psalm 73. Verse 11. And they say, how does God know? And is there knowledge in the most high? The 
Behold, these are the ungodly who prosper in the world. They increase in riches. They do many things in the dark. Kill, sacrifice, men, oppress, get well. And say, what? You say God. Which God? It doesn't see. Is there knowledge in the most high? He is there, but he doesn't see. He created the world and gave it to us to do what we want. He doesn't bother about it. In fact, he's not seeing it. He's not keeping record. It's not, not nothing. You are the one not doing your own. You're not doing your own. One of the leaders in the holiness movement that left revelation revealed him he was telling the others get the money you will get her in the holiness movement get wealth get everything you know god does not judge on time With all their prayers they say they're praying against us god will not do anything i mean holiness movement I'm telling you, lost men. By the time we come to old age, we say, God, we are sorry, forgive. He will forgive us and we'll make heaven. You know, when there is a traffic jam, some vehicles follow side road, side road, side road, and overtake all the other vehicles and enter in the front. To them, they will go and enter in the front. Although they didn't follow the way now, they shall enter in the front. That is lost. Terrible. Terrible. God is there, but he does not see. He does not know. Are you not like that? Among these lost men, for this my son was lost. I've left God. I see the foul thoughts that you're carrying. That I, God would, that's God. No. You're oppressing somebody. You're oppressing your husband. You're tough and wicked. He said, No, all this while they have been praying. Has anything happened to me? Forget that. You're encouraging others. Let's move. Lost men. Lost women. Hmm. Creatures of God. Creatures of God. You will not escape it. Now, number four. God is there, but we're not interested. These ones have known God is there. God can give righteousness. God can do what, but we don't, we're not interested in him. We're not willing to serve him. We are not willing. What gain are we going to have? <laughs> what gain are we going to have? In the book of Job 21, Job 21. Verse 14 and 15. Before Psalms, you find Job. Chapter 21, verse 14 and 15. Let's read 13 to 15. They spend their days in wealth, and in a moment go down to the grave. Therefore they say unto God, Depart from us. For we desire not the knowledge of thy ways. What is the Almighty that we should serve him? And what profit should we have if we pray unto him? They say God is there. But 
we desire not the knowledge of his ways. They talk to God, please give us chance. You say you will send to hell. Wait, when we come, if we are coming, you want to send to hell. Let's see how you will do it. But give us chance. State of lost men. State of lost women. They have purposely taken permission to live evil. To do evil. Not bothering about God. It's painful to the heart of God. You gave birth to your child. Your child came to you and said, My father, my mother, I know you don't want me to join witchcraft, but I am going to become a wizard. If they say, Bring my mother, get ready. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I have chosen this one. Father, if it is father, get ready. I have only one father. <laughs> I have only one father. So if they say I should bring my father, you will be going. How will you feel? Mother. And he's going. And he is going. That is people. God save aside. Who we'll we'll commit sin. It's painful. God will just be looking at them like human beings. God is just looking at them like this. Lost people. They are saying, depart from us for we desire not the knowledge of your ways. You say, hey, it is not, it's for peace, for your peace. We don't like that peace. It is going to give you blessing tomorrow when we don't want to wait for tomorrow. Therefore, that's what these people are saying. What is the Almighty? See how despite they show what is the Almighty? Who is he? Didn't Pharaoh say, I know not the Lord? Who is the Lord? I know not the Lord. Neither will I let Israel go. Come, I'm saying that it's not your heart like this. It's not your heart deep like this. Man is gone. It's lost. What profit should we have if we pray unto him? Go and pray. Why are you wasting time praying when you know what to do? Go and do it. Hi. They're not there. They're not with God. So, this is stage four of the lost man. I'm talking about stages of lost men in the world. Stage five. There is God, but worship him in your own way. What did I say? Say it. There is God. But worship him in your own way. Is it not what is happening in the churches around you? There is God. Yeah, there is God. But the things they are doing there, is it according to the word of God? Is he? No. 
in the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 1 to verse 4 yes the Bible says brethren my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they might be saved. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. For they, being ignorant of God's righteousness, and going about to establish their own righteousness, have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of God. For Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to every one that believeth. They show great zeal, but have established their own way of worshiping God. If you follow their own way, they will approve you. They will bury you when you die. Make sure you pay your dues. If you pay your dues, when you die, they will bury you and sing songs for you and say you are going to glory. But if you don't pay your due, they say, ah, you died in the hospital, you repented. Oh, you, in fact, angels even came to carry you. They don't know that one because you didn't pay your dues. You check your name in the register. When did he stop paying his dues? except your family members will agree to pay in arrears. They worship God in their own way. Lost men. Lost men. They are lost people. The Son of Man is come to seek and to say them that are lost the state the case is big the situation of the fall is very big the implication of the fall of man is very big It caused man to be in a lost state of various stages. Lost, 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 lost to various stages. God is not there. God is not there. Yes. They are ignorant of God's righteousness and have gone about to establish their own righteousness. Christ is the end of all commandments in the Old Testament by Moses. Only except the moral commandment which is natural among men even before the law of Moses. Those ones continue. Christ is the end of the law. But no, it's not to them. You must follow the law. That's their own way. State of the lost. Number six. There is God, but lay aside his word and follow traditions and the doctrine of your assembly these ones have come to church these ones i'm dealing with church realm now they have come into the church but lost There is God. But put aside his word. When you say the word of God, I say, oh, please keep quiet. We're not talking about that one. 
our leader <laughs> a man was speaking to his church members I don't know how old he was maybe he was 60 years he said take my word seriously because I am older than Jesus when he gave the word take my word seriously because Jesus, when he was on earth, died at 33 and a half years. And he is now 60. So who is older? <laughs> older than God. So his word is doctrine. Some will say... The anointing oil is the Holy Spirit in a bottle. It can do whatever the Holy Spirit can do. It's just because I, it is this generation, I am a preacher and I bring out this. If I were there in Bible days, it would have been inside the Bible. It would have been written down in the Bible. I'm telling you, there is God, but lay aside the word of God and follow the tradition and culture of men. Follow the teaching of your own assembly. In this way, the weights of pop, the Catholic pop, is an authority. Lost. Lost. Come. How many people now are found? How many? How many new God of a truth? Terrible situation. Sometimes I begin to reason. I say, God, how do you feel? What man is doing? How are you feeling? Because I'm feeling that God will disappoint him. People are not interested in him. People are not interested in his ways. Look at it. In the book of Mark chapter 7. Verse 6 to verse 9. He answered and said unto them, Well had Isaiah prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, These people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. How be it in vain do they worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men, for laying aside the commandment of God, Ye hold the tradition of men as the washing of poles and calves, and many other such like things ye do. And he said unto them, to them, Full well ye reject the commandment of God, that ye may keep your own tradition. You reject. Women. The word says, don't wear that which pertain to man. They rejected that. And said, my pastor taught it clearly that there is a trouser for, for woman. Go and wear it. Don't allow these people to trouble you. Lay aside God's word and hold the one for your pastor. Lost people. <laughs> lost people in Kenya I was told of a man of God who has his own church man of God in court man of the devil fool that he was traveling somewhere and that he told his members in case the rapture takes place before I come tell God that I'm not coming now there are some other things I want to do on earth And the members, he will tell God. 
you are you, they are, i mean lost uh, the brain has been tempered with the unfortunate thing is that some of these people their brains have been tempered with That is it. That they cannot reason again. They have drunk demons, drunk demons with the excreta of demons to the point that they cannot reason again. They are reasoning differently. Some is when they appear in hell. They say, Where have I been? Where was I on earth? Why did I not know these things? What happened? Somebody, can somebody tell me what I was doing in the world? What happened? Where? Why? Can you also be here and go to be saying so in hell? God will make you remember today. left God and followed the world. Left God and followed Satan. Because you're looking for money. Amen. Amen. So that's the situation. And in Isaiah chapter 30, Isaiah chapter 30 verse 8 to verse 11 30 verse 8 to 11 Now go, write it before them in a table and note it in a book that it may be for the time to come forever and ever that this is a rebellion Rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord, which say to their seers, see not. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us writings. Speak unto us small things, prophesy deceits. Get you out of the way, turn aside, out of the path, cause the Holy One of Israel. To cease from before us. Purposefully. Rebellious people. Okay? The patience of God is for this world only. After you leave this world, you will be in a everlasting torture. For neglecting the God that met you. For not seeking after the God that met you. For despising the God that met you. That gave you air to breathe. That gave the sun to shine and give you light. That gave you water to drink and to bath and cool yourself. You will regret forever. This is your turn. And yet, even on earth, he will contend with you. Nebuchadnezzar became an animal in the bush seven years. Worms ate up Herod. Mighty to commit sin. There is God. But his grace is sufficient for you in sin. Worship and be committing sin. Just worship him and be sinning. Do all kinds of sin you need. His grace is sufficient. Lost it. In Titus. Chapter 1. Titus. Chapter 1, the Bible tells us in verse 16, they profess that they know God, but in works they deny him. 
being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work reprobate. This might go well for some Pentecostals now. God is there. Serve him. Jubilate in him. But don't mind sin. Your sin case is settled. There is sufficient grace. Every sin you commit, God will give you grace. And there is more grace to the pastor. So the pastor can commit more sins. It's because normally if you are bringing food, pastors should be bigger. Is that not so? More meat, more this, more that. So God has allocated more grace to commit sin. Kai. This is the state now. God says, shall we continue to sin that grace may abound? God forbid. See it now. If it is not that you believe so how could you still be a sinner and you are a leader a worker you are in number seven you are in number what yeah. that's why you are still committing immorality because you feel that god you take a lost person so I've given you seven lost stages of the sinner. They are all sinners. All lost who don't know God. They don't know him. Ye worship, ye know not what. You don't know what you're worshiping. Because you are lost. Your voice cannot reach heaven because the voice of someone that is lost from the family cannot be heard. Cannot be heard. If your voice could be heard, then you are no more lost. Your voice cannot be heard by God. All your noise all your prayers cannot reach him because the distance you are, the state you are, is lost. It. Ha. What do we say about other churches? Now we have not even talked about Asian countries. China, far above now, 1.5 billion people. How many know God there? Considering these stages, how many escape? How many? Go to India, more than 1.3 billion people. As for China, they say it's about 50 million Christians, 50 million Jehovah's Witnesses, 50 million Catholic Church, 50 million Cherubim and Seraphim, 50 million, everything. Can you feel it with God that God chose you and gave you truth? You are still playing with it. Just to make God not to have anybody. God called you to the Christian ministry and said, preach to these people. You are busy preaching with laziness in your life. You are not serious. You are not seeking his face to speak this thing with life in your mouth. Please, why is it like this? What has God done? 
what iniquity have you seen in me that you just deserted me like this what will you do at the end your life has an end how will your life be then at the end of your life what will you say when you will stand before the eternal god that i am the i am god jehovah what will you say then what have you benefited for 70 years for 80 years what have you benefited that you go for eternal doom eternal hell eternal destruction with satan and his angels what will you say you gain you gain some beautiful women you gain money from men what will you say you gain in this life you gain power power of witchcraft what will you say your life on earth produced the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. You have to change your state, change your thoughts, change your mind, change your direction. Worst of all, there are some people that say, let's team up together to blot out the name of the Lord. Let's team up together to quench righteousness. <laughs> and you are here that they sent you do your best to quench holiness revival movement. The he that seated in the heaven shall lie. You see, your stubbornness has taken you to that point. Small boy. You are talking to a man, a soldier, with his gun. He just despised you and kept, and kept quiet. And you are coming again to put his, your, mouth like, your hand like that into his eye. Let mosquitoes fly away. But the mosquito that comes to your ear shall suffer. Because you will need rest so you clear it. You want to come and try God? He will clear you. Ha. Wicked man. What will you gain from the hand of Satan? What will you gain? They will give me promotion. To become an angel? To escape hell? To escape death? Trace your God. Look for him. Look for your Mika. This is the time for you to do that. Recover. Fear no man. No man created you but God. Not husband, not wife. Not church. Not denomination, not bishop. Trace your way back to the living God. For you are lost. Deal with that heart. Cry that God should remove that heart from you. The heart that does not respect God. Ah. That is what the Lord has commissioned me to do. In Acts of Apostles, chapter 26. 
Verse 16 to 19. But rise and stand upon thy feet. For I have appeared unto thee for this purpose. To make thee a minister and a witness. Both of these things which thou hast seen. And of those things in the which I will appear unto thee. Delivering thee from the people. And from the Gentiles unto whom now I send thee. To open their eyes. And to turn them from darkness to light. And from the power of Satan unto God. That they may receive forgiveness of sins and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. We are upon, O King Agrippa, I was not disobedient unto this heavenly vision. It is to make people know God. It is to open their eyes to the Creator and my commission. It's to cause the creatures of God to come back to Him worldwide. Come back from your lost state. Come back from your darkness. Animals, the dog knows his honor and walks the tail. Why don't you know your creator and obey him? Why not? Don't you, why don't you know your creator? And serve him. And submit to him. And obey him. Turn them from darkness to light. Darkness of sin and witchcraft. Come to the light of God. Light of righteousness. And holiness. God is your creator. You can't deny this. Satan has never claimed that he created anything. He has never claimed that he created you. All Satan is doing is to persuade, persuade you that your creator is evil. He's not doing you well. But that God created you. Does thou believe that there is God? Even the devils believe and tremble. They believe. Get out from his hand and come back to your God. David sent to the son of Saul, bring back to me Milka, my wife. I paid a dowry of a hundred foreskin of the Philistines. Bring her back to me. They quickly went to where she got married. I said, hey, move. Your husband is calling you. Move. The fake husband was following her behind, crying. They said, hey, move. He ran back. <laughs> so God has spoken to Satan. He should release you. Yeah. I say you should be released. Yeah. Come back to your God. I said, come back to your God. Yeah. Serve him. If Satan makes noise, rebuke him. Who is he? Why should you die and go to hell when God met you for his glory? That is it. Why should you die and perish everlasting in hell? God met you for his glory. We have the commission of God toward you to make you know and serve the true God. No more to be lost and troubling the heart of God and the heart of righteous men. We know the truth and we declare it unto you. We know him. We have gotten in contact with God. We know Jesus. He has changed our lives. Our eyes have opened to see him. We are not in 
darkness anymore. We are not insane anymore. We have been found. For this my son has been found. And therefore we are in concern for those who are still in that lost state. You have not known God. Creator. You don't know your creator. You don't know your creator. Lost. No. Trace him. Trace the path of God and go back to him. Go and serve him. Go and serve him. We have the message of the gospel that make you know and worship God rightly. Not in deceitful way. We have the truth. We know the truth. The message of righteousness and holiness. We have it. We preach it. He gave, that, gave it to us that we should go and look for you. To come and join us to serve him. Listen to us. Listen to us. Don't run away. Why must you run away from the place of truth? You want lie? You love darkness rather than lie. You love sin, immorality, cheap money, power, fake power, demonic power. That kill human beings, mend them, get false riches. You like it, it shall pass away. The whole, all those things shall pass away. Where were all those governors of this state since it started? Where are they? The glory of man is like a flower, it shall fade away. But he that doeth the will of God, Abide it forever. Amen. Come back to God. And this is the message you should carry out to people in the city, in towns and villages. Tell them, lost people, God is calling them. Those who do not come shall go with Satan to everlasting hell. Turn your way back to God. Turn your heart back to God. And serve him. He's your creator. You don't have alternative. The alternative is doom. Darkness that will follow you. Dead eternally. Go and tell the people so. It's God that is calling them. How do I say it for you to know? It's a bad thing to be lost. Bad thing to be lost. Even you who are in the house, like the way the word of God is going on, you are still saying grace. You will sin, but God will have mercy. Lost. Lost number seven. The perfectly lost are those who have come even to where God is and are still lost there. May God open your heart. May God open your heart. Let light from heaven come into your heart. Let the scales fall from your eyes. Like as it happened to Paul the Apostle. The scales of darkness fell. He realized his God and became clung to his God forever until he was beheaded. May God give you this privilege. Serve the Lord. Please serve him. Let's rise up upon our feet.
serve the Lord. Serve the Lord. Throw away sin. Throw away charm. Throw away the devil. There are idols in your hands. God created you for his glory. And look at you. It's darkness rather that encycles you. Cry to God. You want to come to original state. Seven stages of lost men. Cry out that your voice may be heard. Cry out that your voice may be heard. may be Creator. Call upon him. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord, he shall be saved. upon your
He is the one that created us and nobody else. We owe our existence to him and nobody else. We must pay homage to God and nobody else. God come back to your God May God send angels among you to minister to you. To put white clothes upon you. Make you children of God. Come to God. For this my son was dead, is alive, is lost, but is found. Is lost, but is found. Is lost, but is found. For the Son of God has come to seek and to save that which was lost. Hmm.
Jesus name we pray I want to pray for you I want to pray for the world I mentioned it out of the more than 1.5 billion Chinese nominal Christianity just in the nominal role is 50 million how many are born again there India more than 1.3 billion some say Christianity is 3% there others say it is 7% what happens to the rest lost America. And what do you hear of their Christianity? Lost. How is this thing like this? You will not allow God to suffer pain because of you. Why should God lo lo lose all his creatures? Why? Is God wicked? We have not seen it. Why should they deceive you to join Satan? You want to back God and perish, Father. Is bad. Actually, we feel it what mankind, what men on earth have done. I cannot understand how you created us and the people are not interested in you. Good God. And you are eating in your hand. They are more interested in God bless us than we serve God. Please. Satan has carried many far. The love of sin. Huh? Even those who say they have come, they are not committed. I'm pleading with you. Look to this movement look to these people you have brought God make them original yeah. let the power of God come upon their lives to change their state in Jesus name yeah. why I did death Why? Wow. They're not hearing. My God, open their ears. Let them hear your voice in Jesus' name. <laughs> Father, we who have come, make us committed. Yeah. We give ourselves to you. You are our God. You are our God. You are our creator. We are your all forever. Thank you, Father. We will serve the Lord. And we're going out to get others who don't know you, who are lost. Father, go with us. Amen. And let's bring them in. Amen. Thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry 
that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com. God bless you. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not His Son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through Him might be saved. Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior. I believe.
You came from heaven You died for my sins You purchased me with your blood You are my Lord and my Savior But for my sins Oh Lord Jesus You are the living Savior Jesus I believe in you I believe in you Cause you are my Lord and Savior You are my Lord and Savior I believe in you, you are the living Savior. Jesus, I believe in you. I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. Oh, you are my Lord and Savior. I believe, I believe, I believe